Manchester United versus Man City then. Now, somehow we've got probably a 5% chance of getting in the Champions League again next season with the fact that Chelsea have dropped points against Burnley at home and Arsenal lost at home to Crystal Palace, which after that horrendous 4-0 defeat for Manchester United at the hands of Everton, it still gives Manchester United some slim hopes of getting in that top four. And all the while we've got a slim hope of chance Oli's going to play a strongish, or what he would consider a strongish lineup. I don't think that there is a lineup that I would say is stronger than another. And if we lose this game, then personally I would give rotate the side and give some other younger players a chance for the last few games because this is the last this is last chance saloon for Manchester United. If we lose this game against Manchester City, then surely the top four hopes will be over, barring Arsenal and and Chelsea losing like two, two or so of their, two or three of their remaining games, which even I can't see that happening. But the only saving grace would be Manchester United would have to play Chelsea, so we could still beat them and still I don't know. But Manchester United have been so dreadful this season. I just cannot see any anything other than a sixth place finish this season. So we might as well get this game out of the way. I mean, if we're going to finish sixth, I couldn't care less. Then, I mean, we're only playing for pride in this game. And to be honest, I don't want Liverpool to win the title. So if we win this game, then it's going to be, yes, it's going to be great. We might stand a slight chance of getting in that Champions League places. But if we were to win it, we're probably going to lose to Huddersfield or something. That is, that is the thing with Manchester United. We are, I can't even see us winning this game at all. But being a local derby, you just never know. I mean, last season, we somehow went to the Etihad and were 2-0 down and won 3-2. So... Anything is possible. I mean, no one gave us a hope in hell against PSG, even myself, and we somehow clawed that out of the bag. But the way Manchester United are playing, I can't see anything less than a dominant Manchester City display and winning by a few goals in this game. I know it's a way, and I, I, and I can only remember one game in the league this season where we've actually lost, and that was Tottenham 3 0 early on in the season. I don't think we've lost any more in the league. We have lost some in the Champions League, we've lost three home games in the Champions League. And we're absolutely abysmal in the Champions League at home, but in the Premier League we've been okay. I mean, we haven't been great at home, but we've been we've got a number of results at home. Put it that way. And I don't know what sort of lineup he's going to go for in this game. De Gea will be in goal, even though he's been poor lately. He's probably going to bring Ashley Young back into the starting lineup. Luke Shaw on the in the left back. Then it'll be Smalling and Lindelof. It's going to be that joker of a back four again. Then Matic will be in there, and Pogba will be in there, and. Maybe Herrera, if he's back fit, I don't know. May slot back in there, but could well be Scott McTominay because he took Fred off at half-time in that game at the weekend, which baffled me a little bit. Fred wasn't playing great, but still baffled me when Manchester United are 2-0 down and you take Fred off and bring McTominay on. I I personally would have just gone hell out and put the Sanchez on, maybe Lingard on, just literally thrown everything at it to try and get back in the game. I mean, we lost 4-0 in the end as it was. And that was the mentality that, that Sir Alex had. He would throw, he would have five, six attacking players on the pitch and would just go all out to try and get back in the game. And then if Manchester United got one back, they usually got two. If they were 2 0 down, we'd get, we'd get two back and then we'd get that third back and would win the game. But I mean, I don't know. This team isn't good enough anyway. But the, the, the forward line, what is he going to go for? I mean, he's probably going to go for the same tiresome three. Rashford, Lukaku and Marshall, but any of them three have been poor. He could bring Mata back in, Lingard back in. San I, I would personally bring Sanchez back in and put Sanchez, Lingard and Rashford. That would probably be the three that I would go give, would give a go to, but Lingard's been poor lately as well, but Marshall just doesn't even look like he's even fucking bothered, which is just... I think he needs to go, but there's Lukaku probably needs to go as well. Oh, there's so many players that probably need to fuck off from this team, but... Can't do nothing until the end of the season, but Man City just got too many players for me that are going to hurt Manchester United. Aguero has hurt Manchester United so many times in the past. The only thing is Sterling's had a few off games against Manchester United in the past. Past where David Ayer's pulled off good saves against him and he's fluffed his lines and that. So, but even if Aguero or Sterling have a bad day, you've got. Bernardo Silva, you've got David Silva, who can produce a bit of magic. You've got even Riyad Mahrez isn't getting a lot of game time, and uh, he's a talented man. 
Then you've got Gabriel Jesus, who doesn't get a lot of game time. You've got Leroy Sane sitting on the bench. Manchester United could do with some of these fucking players. They're better than what we've got. I mean, I'd way sooner have Leroy Sane and Gabriel Jesus ahead of the likes of Marshall and Lingard. And yet we're playing some of them players week in, week out. It is incredible how far we are behind this Manchester City side. But hey-ho, Manchester City are probably going to do the double over Manchester United. I expect Manchester City to win this game. I'm going to go for Manchester City winning this game two goals to nil. The only saving grace if we lose this game is it may well give Manchester City the title over Liverpool. And I don't want Liverpool winning the title, to be honest. But I would prefer Man City not to win it either. It's, it is the lesser of the two evils, I suppose, Man City. But it is just, it's just been the worst season I've ever have ever supported Manchester United it really has we've been so diabolical nothing there has not been one positive to take from this season really there hasn't it has just been a calamity from start to finish and to be honest I just cannot wait till the season's over but the, the worst of it is even if it, I mean to me if we don't win this game I couldn't care less about the, the last three results because we're not going to get in the Champions League and we just give the likes of Mason Greenwood Charm Gomez some game time against the likes of Huddersfield and Cardiff just to just to get them in the in the mood for for the pre-season games because Manchester United need to be giving these players game time because otherwise some of them are going to leave and potentially could go out on loan but they need some game time and there's no point playing the likes of Pogba and Marshall in the last couple of games because we know that what these players are going to do for Manchester United and 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 even with this summer coming I just can't even, I I want the season to end so badly just to get it out of the way, but I just cannot see things getting better next season. I, I just see the same dog shit next season. I, I just don't see an improvement. I just I just don't have faith in this in this any of this squad that they're gonna be able to turn it around next season and perform better than they have done this season and go on and challenge for, for trophies and I, I just don't see see Manchester United bringing in the required players that they need in order to challenge for trophies. I really don't. I just don't think Ed Woodward's going to be up to doing that. Uh, I mean, we're looking at cheaper options now for the likes of uh, Juan Bissaka. And yes, we may get a, a, an option that may, be, that may suit Manchester United more. But if we're looking at cheaper options for Juan Bissaka, a deal that could easily be done for £40 million, it just, just shows to me that Manchester United are not serious about, about spending that big money getting the, the, the top players of European football, the likes of Jadon Sancho, Kula Bali, these sort of big names into Manchester United in order for challenge for trophies. And, and to be honest, I'm just not, every time I watch Manchester United this season, I'm not, there, there's been the odd couple of games when Solskjaer was, was man, the first manager and we were winning games. I was looking a bit more forward to the games, but besides that, I haven't been looking forward to any Manchester United game for so long. And to be honest, I prefer watching the youth teams with the likes of Mason Greenwood playing so well in there. And it would be great to see a few of them utilised between now and the end of the season. Just just to give a bit of a good feel factor around just to end that season. Because th this season has just been such a poor season. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this game. How do you see it going? I mean, I, I wouldn't expect Manchester United just to roll over and get their arses slapped in this game. Because it is a local derby. And there is a lot of pride at stake. And I think so many of these players will get even more scrutinised. And their careers will literally be hanging by a thread if we do get hammered in this game. Anyway, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll talk to you all again soon. See ya.